Hi, my name is Wendy Myers. I am a health and nutrition coach in Los Angeles, California, and today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about H. pylori infection. It's an infection that uh, infects over 50% of the world population, more accurately over 20% of young adults and 50% of people over 50 years old. And the reason I wanted to do this video is because my father passed away of esophageal cancer. It was a, a tumor right above his stomach. And um, I do believe it was in, in part caused by H. pylori infection. And I was recently diagnosed with H. pylori infection. So I did a little bit of research to find out what exactly was going on and how I, sh I should treat it. And uh, one of the interesting things about H. pylori is that it is implicated in over 60% of ulcers, uh, gastric ulcers, and over 99% of duodenal ulcers, which are in your small intestine, um, and 80% of stomach cancers. So if the, these H. pylori uh, parasites are allowed to proliferate in your intestinal tract for decades, they can cause some problems. How H. pylori operates is it gets in underneath the mucosal layer of your stomach, underneath the mucus, that protective layer in your stomach, and it's able to um, uh, modulate or regulate how much stomach acid your body produces. So depending on where the infection is in your stomach, it can increase the stomach acid or reduce it. So and. It, changing that acidity level is uh, dependent on its survival, so that's why it's able to modulate this in some way. So when it increases your stomach acid, this is when you get ulcers, and when it decreases your stomach acid, this ends up weakening you eventually because you're not able to digest your food and assimilate the nutrients as well, especially proteins and B12. So this ends up uh, eventually causing health problems for you when you're slightly malnourished or very much so mal malnourished because the H. pylori is reducing your stomach acid. Um, now, some of the other things associated with H. pylori, for whatever reason, they are not really sure. They are not really sure why, but that people with autoimmune diseases like vitiligo or Sjogren syndrome or some other ones, that they tend to have higher rates of H. pylori infection. Um, H. pylori is also indicated in severe morning sickness. Uh, studies have been done saying that 90% uh, of women with severe morning sickness during pregnancy are infected with H. pylori. Um, it's also associated with gastritis, and I had this symptom where gastritis is where you have swelling and pain in your stomach, and that's kind of due to the immune system trying to fight it, and when it's not able to, it causes pain and swelling in your stomach. Um, it's not very comfortable, and I went to many, many doctors. Not one of them tested me for H. pylori, um, but unfortunately, I did find a really good naturopath who tested me for everything and found out that I did have H. pylori. Um, how my doctor diagnosed it was she first did a blood test. This is a very common first step. And if they find that you have high antibodies to H. pylori, they'll then do perhaps do a stool test to uh, confirm it, or they'll do a stool test after to make sure that they were able to kill it. Um, but unfortunately, many doctors, um, their, their go-to treatment is antibiotics. And this is unfortunately, you know, the route many people will have to take just because it's cheap. It's 10 bucks for some antibiotics. Um, but I, you know, don't like antibiotics. I think they throw your body out of balance. They kill all the healthy bacteria, or some of the most of the healthy bacteria in your intestines. And this, uh, you know, unfortunately affects your immune system and your, your health overall because 85% of your immune system is in your intestines. So you don't want to be messing with the gut flora in your intestines unless you have some sort of life-threatening infection. And, you know, H. pylori can be treated naturally because it's a very, it's a, it's not a life-threatening uh, uh, infection or parasite. It's it can be classified as either one. It's something that can be treated naturally with supplements and with, that I'll go over in a minute. Um, but I definitely recommend just treating it naturally. It's not a life or death situation. So some of these natural treatments are uh, you can treat it with manuka honey. Uh, that's how I killed my uh, um, how my I killed my infection. And if you want more information on manuka honey, I have a very thorough blog post on it and recommended manuka honeys. 
on my blog post, Medicinal Manuka Honey on Live2110.com. And Manuka Honey is amazing. It can kill any bacteria. No bacteria can become resistant to it, including MRSA, the dreaded flesh-eating bacteria. So uh, Manuka Honey works very well in killing the H. pylori infection. And you just take three teaspoons or five milliliters three times a day for three months. And so uh, it can get costly. It's probably going to cost you about $50 to $80 a month for the Manuka honey. So the antibiotics are a lot cheaper, but the Manuka honey is a very tasty, healthy way to kill the H. pylori. Um, I also took a supplement called Pyloracil by Orthomolecular Research. Um, this is a supplement that contains mastic gum and berberine, uh, which is a, an herb, I think, and a couple other little things. And these are very, very infective in killing the H. pylori. So I did those two natural things, and it cleared my infection, and I'm very happy about that. Uh, a couple other things you can do, you can also eat raw garlic. I don't think that by itself will kill it, but it will certainly help eat, you know, one to three cloves of raw gar garlic a day. Um, I personally eat a fermented raw garlic. Um, it's just a little bit sweeter and more palatable. Um, I get it at a, the farmer's market, this Korean stand, it's this Korean family that makes this fermented raw garlic. It's nine-month aged raw garlic that's fantastic. You can probably find it at a Korean store. Um, another thing you want to do for supplements uh, is uh, probiotics. Probiotics uh, are very, very effective at killing H. pylori, though I doubt they, they will help in your fight, but I don't think they're going to kill it by themselves. It's just something you should probably be doing anyways, but it will help kill H. pylori. Um, some of the dietary recommendations you have to do is drink three liters of water a day. You have to drown these H. pylori out, flush them out of your system, and the best way to do that is drinking three liters of water per day, preferably spring water. Um, you also need to elimin eliminate gluten. Um, even people who are not sensitive or allergic to gluten, it still causes inflammation in your intestines, even a tiny, tiny little amount. Uh, recent studies are showing that gluten does cause gastritis. Um, I experience this every time I eat gluten, I indulge in it. Um, I do get swelling and pain in my stomach, so this is obviously not going to help you uh, fight an H. pylori infection. Um, and it's actually recommended while you're fighting infection, probably for your health as long as you live, is probably a very good idea to cut out grains. Um, most grains today, are they're just not really all that healthy for you. It's probably best to reduce them, especially the gluten-containing grains like barley, rye, wheat, and oats, except for the, the gluten-free oats, of course. Um, but it's probably best to cut those out of your diet um, just for your health in general. But they definitely help fight the H. pylori infection. One of the next things you want to do, definitely cut out sugar. Sugar feeds parasites and bacteria. And you don't want to be taking this Manuka honey and then uh, trying to wage this battle by killing them and then feeding them so that they can grow exponentially at the same time. It kind of defeats the purpose. So definitely got to eliminate sugar. And you want to avoid overeating. You want to avoid stressing that stomach and stretching it too much. Um, just try to practice eating until you're 80% full and that should do the trick. But if you want uh, full information, all the information you could ever want about H. pylori and how to treat it naturally, you can look at my website. The, uh, the blog post is entitled, 50% of the population is infected with H. pylori. And my website is live2110.com. Thank you so much.